dear mother, I know you'll be worrying about me, so I'm just writing to say that I enjoy the work and everyone is very friendly. I trust this finds you as it finds me well and in good spirits. Your loving daughter, Maggie. Well, Maggie, first week over and done with. How do you feel? Tired. I'm so tired. Of course you're tired. So are all the workers. It's not right. No, it's not, is it? So why does it have to be like this? Because it just does. Come on now, let's have a look at that newspaper. Yes, quite good. Can't have a crumpled newspaper. And to put mistress in a good mood, a little scent to make the news smell sweeter. Go on, off you go with it. Is that you, Maggie? Come here. You can put the paper on the side. Jane is in, so you must help lace me in. Now then, I want you to pull with all your might. I'm getting to the stage where I need all the help I can get from a corset. Oh, harder, girl. Harder. Oh, that'll have to do, I suppose. By the way, we're having company this evening, so you must wait on instead of Jane. Very well, ma'am. Oh, dear. I really don't know. What do you think? It looks very well on you, ma'am. So many decisions. So many decisions and Jane ill. It's very hard being Lady of the House, Maggie. I'm sure it is. By the way, have you seen my garnet brooch? No, ma'am. Strange. Seems to have gone missing. Well, run along. By the evening, I'd forgotten all about her ladyship's brooch. I was that busy getting the dinner ready. We all were. everyone they've almost finished the soup hurry up with that servant Susan how are the pheasants almost done and who's looking after the beach check it John check it oh these vegetables are hardly done oh Lord bless us how is a woman to run a kitchen with you lot I got through the meal all right but when it came to serving the coffee Susan was up to her usual mean, spiteful tricks and made me spill it all over myself. Well, Maggie, that was a bit of a mess. Ignore her, love. Oh, but it was so... <laughs> These things happen. Oh, I'll catch him. Likes a bit of music after dinner, Mrs. Willoughby does. But look at the food they've left. Hardly eaten anything. Aye. That's their way. Pick and choose. The rich man in his castle. When I think what my mother would give for this, just for a mouthful. Dear Missa. Come here. Like 
September the 25th. It's been a week now since the dinner party, and something else has gone missing. Mrs. Higgins asked us about it in the morning. She seemed very worried. <sighs> I'm afraid I have some unfortunate news. Mistress has lost another bit of jewellery, an emerald ring. Have you seen it, Maggie? No, Mrs. Higgins. John? Jane? No, ma'am. What about you, Susan? Haven't seen a thing. Are you sure? Oh, well. Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. Get back to work. It sounds as though there's a thief in the house. And I know who I suspect. But it's not for me to say so. Mm. I can't ignore it, Higgins. It's happening too often to be a coincidence. It's a very bad business, ma'am. What do you suggest? Well, there's always the florin in the carpet. Oh, oldest trick in the book, ma'am. You hide a florin away. If the maid doesn't find it, she isn't sweeping the carpet properly. If she does find it, she either returns it to you, and you know she's honest. And if she doesn't return it, you know. Exactly, ma'am. What you got there, Maggie? It's a coin. I found it under the carpet. I must give it to Mistress. Tell you what, I'm just going to see her now. I'll give it to her. Should have known better, shouldn't I? September 29th. Worst day of my life. Summoned to see Mrs. Willoughby. When I got there, Mrs. Higgins was with her. And so was Susan. Maggie, you of all people. Mom? I'm very disappointed in you. I'm sorry. I don't understand. I have been talking to Susan. She says you found a florin coin underneath the carpet. Well, so I did, Mom. How can you be so bold? I found the coin and gave it to Susan to give to you. Susan? Did Maggie give you the coin? No, ma'am. But I did! Susan, I'll ask you once again. Did Maggie give you the coin? No, ma'am. I saw her put it in her pocket. What? It's not true! I'm sorry to tell you all this, ma'am. She was my friend till this happened. But I thought it was my duty. You did quite right. You may go. So, Maggie Johnson, what have you to say for yourself? I... I... Nothing to say. Very well. You will leave this house immediately. You will receive no letter of commendation from me or personal character. This is a very sad day for all of us. A very sad day. Mm -hmm.